Far right, pre-taxi flaps are up. And the air. Jet center three plus one. The Avionics are on the set. The set. Tower ramp. Let's get the ATS, which is one to go. Today, my instructor and I are going to be doing a little bit of check ride prep. I'm about 32 hours into my training, and I'm getting to the point where I need to prepare for my flight test. So as my instructor took pictures of my crazy camera setup, I got the ATIS and prepared for our departure from KGMU, my home airport. The airplane that I normally fly in is actually down to the shop for an avionics upgrade, so this is a different airplane than I'm used to. The plan was to depart towards the west to the practice area, fly a bunch of maneuvers, and do a few landings at a nearby airport, Pickens County. Zero two eight, runway one, visual approaches are in use. Have I don't initial contact, you have information, whiskey. Greenville Ground, Skyhawk 1309 or 7 at the south ramp with information, no whiskey. Looking for a westbound departure, we're ready to taxi. November 1309 or 7, Greenville Ground, runway one, taxi Alpha Tree, Alpha, altimeter 3030. Alpha Tree to Alpha to runway one, first zero nine or 7. Oh, that looks nice. This one's fun right there. It looks really nice. Just leave. I hadn't flown for a few weeks, so I was excited to shake the rust off and get back in the air again. Greenville Tower, Skyhawk 13097, hold your short runway one, ready for departure to the west. Number 13097, runway one, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 097. Alright, he just got off the runway. That was clear. Clear. Alright, there to go. Heels are going to the floor. Uh, 6 7 go from my whole tower about a mile until you're north of the other aircraft. How about that? Alright, now we're looking for 55 to rotate. Oh, climbing out at 78. Climb as well as the Archer does, man. Nope. I'm near as well. He's got 150 horsepower, man. Archer's got 30 more horsepower. What was that? Uh, oh, just a win? You alright? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> alright, almost at 1500. We'll turn left. November 00 right. Delta Tango ground clearance available if you're ready to copy. Ray zero zero Delta Tango, you cleared to the Lima Bravo Foxtrot Airport at five after departure. Flight eight zero three zero, climb and maintain three thousand. There's keep climbing to the west. Level three six zero, one zero twenty five hundred. Park frequency Greer one one eight. All right, go ahead and give me a heading of three three zero. Flying with a glass panel is incredible. It allows you to be much more precise with your maneuvering. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you're comfortable with where the altitude and airspeed indicators are, your brain quickly adjusts to where to look. We started the day with some steep turns, so after we did our clearing turns, we went ahead. Alright, let's start off with a couple steep turns. Steep turns are done at how many degree angle? 45. 45, so how do you know if where your 45 degree angle is? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 30, and then the large one there is 45. Nope. So you get 10, 20, 30, the large one's 30. I see. Okay, so halfway no. in between the large one and the small one okay. is 45. All right, the 30, 45, 60. Yep, gotcha. All right, so now what we're going to do is pick a point directly off our nose, all right, and use it as a reference. We'll use that rock face right there, all right, as our reference. All right. Counter echo on base for touch and go. Whenever you're ready, we're going to do one echo, steep turn to the left and one steep turn to the right. All right. So we're at 4680. All right. Let's go a steep turn to the left. So 30 and 45. Put a bit of back pressure here. That's 60. Right in there, right there. Losing altitude. 
right there. Hold what you got. Look outside. See where that horizon's cutting the dashboard. Nose is up just a little bit. Let it fall just just a teeny tad. Right there. Oh, looking for your visual reference. Okay. Here comes the visual reference. And three, two, one, we're rolling out. And right back into the right. I right, was 4680. And right about there. Hold what you got on the pitch. No more pitch. There you go. Too bad. Alright, lost 40 feet. Where'd you start at? 4680. You started at 4680? Yeah. Okay, not bad then. Alright, let's do a power on stall. Yeah. Power on stall is done in which configuration? Oh, I'm gonna be in the takeoff configuration. Takeoff configuration. Are no. we in the takeoff configuration? No flaps, next year. Yeah. No, no flaps, we don't have any landing gear. Yep, so no flaps, fixtures rich, car heat is off, landing lights are on. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is start powering back toward about 70 knots, maintaining your, head, your heading and your altitude. Let's just start this at 47. That's fine. Alright, powering back, maintain heading, and maintain our altitude. Powering back, you said? Yep. Powering back to get to 70 knots. Once we get 70 knots, we're going to go full power. Start pitching that nose up. Make sure we keep our wings level, ball caged in the center. Okay. Here comes 70, so we're going to full power. And let's get that nose up while we go full power. Full power. There we go. Nose up, 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 up. Put a bit of right rudder in there. The first few times, I instinctively pushed the nose down after hearing the stall warning. But this time, we wanted to actually stall the airplane. Keep on pulling the nose Keep pulling back. You were intentionally stalling for pulling back? Yeah. No. You got the stall warning? You got to get her the full break. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, it's, the instincts are good. Right? Yeah. The wings level. Yeah, you want to be. Is that not breaking? Did it keep falling back? This is power on, but I mean, we're still gaining altitude. Yeah, it's not breaking. Just let the nose drop. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> well, good for you, Cessna. Uh, good for you. It would not break, so. I mean, I was like, this doesn't feel like something I should ever do in an airplane. Just pull, pull back to hardness. <laughs> so, <laughs> stop warning, like, <laughs> Alright, what are you doing? Do you notice how you let let your rudder out? But yeah. Look at your heading. Yeah, well, yeah, cause exactly. When we had an uh, excessive nose up, we had a lot of P factor going on for that yeah, left turn. Yeah, absolutely. And I started, and I got started to let your nose down, but you let your rudder out, and your nose went like this. Yeah, and you mentioned at some point you were like, make sure you keep your wings level, and I think I, I leveled it, and then I think I, I, I let go of the rudder as well. Because I was intentionally holding it early on, and then I just, I completely let it, let it go. Yep. Yeah. So, again? Yeah, that's up to you. Yeah, let's try that one more time. All right, full power climb, let's do it. Yep, full power. 
that nose up. That right rudder in. Or right rudder. Right there. Is that my full right rudder? Uh, so it has to be full right rudder. <laughs> Do you feel the break? Oh yeah, <laughs> there was a moment, and there was a right side broke a little bit before the left. Yeah. Actually, I don't even know if we fully broke the left. The right broke. <laughs> the right broke, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, good deal. After we did a few power on stalls, we continued on to do power off stalls, or stalls that are similar to those that you'll encounter when you're in the landing configuration. All right, so the first thing we got to do, power back. Get the nose up. Yeah. Get, and then get to uh, we're gonna get to our configure like our configuring speed, right? Yep. Seventeen hundred. And let's go ahead and put those flaps down to thirty. All right. Make sure that nose doesn't balloon up. We want to get a three hundred foot per minute descent going. Three hundred feet per minute, you say? Yep. Descent. And now imagine a runway right in front of you. Runway right in front of you, and we're descending. Here comes the here comes the transition to the flare. So power idle. Nose to the horizon, and we're just waiting for the stall. is clearing runway five. Picking traffic, cargo zero zero, pop three. Once you get the stall, we're gonna lower the nose and full power. Uh, no, just pick Over the nose. Now. Don't let it come back up. Uh huh. I see. Yeah, I see. Secondary stall. Okay. okay. Will you get? Should we go right back into that? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, power yeah. idle. Point zero five nine. And we're just waiting for the stall. Nose down. Make sure you get that nose down. All right. Try it again. We're not actually waiting for the stall this time? Yeah. And flaps are going to 10. And we'll get positive rate on the airspeed or the vertical climb. There's positive rate, flap zero. So flaps go to 10 immediately? Yes. You just don't ever dump them all the way. Right. So the recovery on that is nose down, full power, flaps 10. Nose down, full power, flaps 10. Yep. Always for a, stall, for a landing stall recovery. Yes. These okay. flaps up. Can we try that one more time? Yep. Short of final. All right. So just down to 70. The landing configuration. 30 degree flaps. All right. We're at 30 degrees of flaps here. And bring it back to idle. 300 foot per minute descent. Before we do that, before we bring it to idle. Yep. Alright, let's get that descent going just like we're just like we're landing. So get that nose down. I see. There we go. Now idle. And nose to the horizon. Wait for the first sign of a stall or under buffet. And it's pitch nose down, full power flaps down. Flaps down, we're looking for a positive rate. Here comes a positive rate, and right. flaps are coming up. All right, let me try one time. All right, flaps like controls, flaps like controls. Oh, uh, we've got center of power here. Flaps are coming to 30. All right here, don't let that move come up. Those flaps in here, there they are. Now we're looking for a 300 foot per minute descent right here. Here comes 300 foot per minute descent, power's going idle, and we're just holding the nose to the horizon. First sign of a stall, horn, or buffet, we're going nose down, full power. Right there it is, so nose down, full power. Flaps coming up. There's 10. We're looking for a positive rate. 
Camera's positive right, and flaps are coming up. Okay, so we're not necessarily looking for smooth, we're looking for the numbers to be right. Yep. <laughs> okay, right. so you... My flight controls? Your flight controls. My flight controls. Because you were pretty <laughs> aggressive in the movement. Yep, I want to see that nose come down. Otherwise, you're very, very close to that secondary stall. Okay. I'll try that one more time. Yep. If you get that secondary stall, you might get a check ride failure. No, I don't want really? to do that. So make sure, I know you're trying to be smooth, but make sure we get that nose down, full power nose down, and flaps coming up to 10. Okay. All right, so let's do flaps coming to 30. All right. Looking for a 350 foot descent. Idle. Uh, idle. No, it's coming up. Tenth or deposit rate. And coming out. Much better. All right, and a heading. Look at that. Yeah, much better. Okay. A few minutes later, he gave me a surprise engine failure out of nowhere. Uh, she lost your engine. You go best glide, then look for best field. All right, what's the best glide? Best glide, I'm looking for it. It's uh, in this airplane, I think it's 76. <laughs> so I need to pitch up just a little bit more. Yep. Just a little low. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. See that G? Yeah. All right, there's about 70. Okay. 71. And if I can trim for that, it would be better, because then I can just kind of leave it. Yep. Right there, so we're going to glide. This yeah. is a roughly 10 to 1 ratio. Right? That's it. This is the best glide right here. All right, let's look for a place to land. All right, we got a field here. That's decent. I'd probably go for that field right there. That one that's got all those ridges in it? Yeah. You know what the ridges are? Yeah. It's elevation change. All right. So, so you're basically not. landing on the side of a hill. So there's a road there. There's a field here. Double check my glide. We're good. Is there anything behind us? Uh, yeah, there's a road right there as well. This isn't the best place. Nothing that says we can't turn around. Right. So I mean, actually, yeah, because seeing mountains all in front of us, I think our best our best call would here would be just to. And I don't want to bank too much because I'm going to be giving away some of my lift. All right. So we're we're turning. We're looking. See a good field right, right there. there. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the field, nice and long. The one yep. to the right. So uh, do we? I mean, you want to kind of practice and let's head there, just like we're at a real emergency right here. Yeah, one seven three kilos. So we're squawking what? We're squawking seven, uh, seven zero zero. Yeah, seventy seven hundred. We're making a payday call. Right. We're yeah, going assuming down. we have it to like right now, we're headed towards the field. We have a second. We can probably make that call. Yep. Appreciate it. Let them know we'll be there in fifteen minutes. One seven three kilo here, and we'll give you a few. Although I'm not at this point, I'm not convinced we'd make it. You don't think we'd make that? I don't know. Uh, we're about three thousand feet. All right. So we do we have probably two two thousand feet to lose. But probably we got. Is it, we've got about a mile, right? Yep. Got a mile of glide. If we're at two, yeah, if we're at 2,000 feet, we have about 4,000. Are you doing a traffic pattern, or are we going straight toward the field? Straight toward the field. Get it going there. I see. Directly to the field. All right, to the numbers. Straight right. line. I'm, trying to, I'm trying, to, trying to line it up, man. Glide speed's still good. Okay, now I'm convinced we'll make it. At this point, like we, we, can, we can make that field. My well, body sort of descend now. Faster. If we were to do that. So you're you're 100% sure we'd make that? Um, I am. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, we now at this point, yeah. So, so now, now we introduce some flaps. Right. No, we do that? No. We okay. introduce some flaps, slow ourselves down, get ourselves ready. Yep. If elevation here is 1,000 feet, we don't want to go below 1,500. Probably okay. 1,600 would be safe for the purposes of a check ride. Yep, that's right. Go ahead and recover. After the practice emergency landing, we moved on to some turns around a point and S turns. Roger. During the maneuvers, I noticed I had gained some altitude, and I had a question about whether or not I should address that with the DPE during my check ride. Uh, back down. <clears throat> so do I need to say that if I say, oh, I noticed I'm a little high, I'm going to correct? Should I say that out loud during a check ride? So that he knows what I'm doing? Yes. Okay. So it's not like I'm admitting fault. It's more like, oh, I noticed I'm making a mistake, but I'm fixing it, therefore I'm a good pilot. Exactly. Okay. He's more concerned about that than my score. He's more concerned that I'm safe. Right. Okay. Wants to, he wants to see that you can safely maneuver the aircraft. After those maneuvers, my instructor told me to fly us to Pickens County Airport. 
Now, I wasn't sure if the DPE asked me to do this, whether or not I'd be allowed to use all of the tools at my disposal. I know it's that way. All right, just because I'm familiar with the area. How would I, would I use my sectional here? Base and then use the fact that I know where we are. Like use, uh, use the map. You use all of your available resources until he tells you you can't use them. Okay, so here, so I would use the GPS then. Yes. So I would say direct to uh, nearest airport. Okay, okay, it has like the one. There so you that's, go. that's the way I would have done it. Yep. Pickers County traffic, Skyhawk 130 or 7 is about six and a half miles to the northwest, inbound for landing on runway 5, Pickers County. Going to do a 45 degree entry? Yep. So I'm going to maneuver actually a little bit more around. That is correct. Or that way and come in this way. The plan here at Pickens was just to do a few landings and then head home. Pickens County traffic, Skyhawk 09 or 7 is maneuvering for the 45 degree entry for runway 5, Pickens County. Now, I'm normally used to flying a Piper Archer, and my instructor just reminded me a few of the differences between the two planes. Remember, on this one, when you're down in the flare, you're going to have an excessive nose-up attitude, a little bit more so than the Archer. Right. Alright. Flaps 10. I'm going to some airspeed here. we going to be pitching for about 70. Lights, everything, make sure it's full red for good. Turn in in just a moment. A little bit more, and let's turn in. Pickens County traffic, Skyhawk 09 or 7 is turning left base runway 5, Pickens County. Ah, the classic can't see the runway in the Cessna. Traffic, Cessna 09 or 7 is turning final, runway 5, Pickens County. Final is clear. So, a couple more, a little bit more flaps here. Start working that power out. And let's go ahead and turn it to the runway. 100. At 70. That nose coming down, very nice. As soon as you get your wings level, let's put in uh, flaps 30. Yeah, we could probably go idle here. A little high. About to come to 30, there they are. All the way idle. Alright, we're idle. Airspeed's looking good. Coming down, so that's good. So we're a little landing a little long, but we have room here. Probably won't make that first exit, but we'll see. Right about here, we're looking at the other end of the runway. And we're holding it off as long as we can. Get that nose up, 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 up. Right there, right there. There you go. Laps are coming up. Traffic, Skyhawk 09 or 7 is clear of runway 5, Pickens County. That was a good landing. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I, felt, I don't know. So I, had, I felt like I had a, had clarity. That was weird. Hard to even explain, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, mentally in, in space, I was like, okay, this makes perfect sense. Yep. Felt yeah, more everything's starting to click. Yeah, like felt more like I was flying the airplane then, just trying to set it down so we don't die. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, not, not that I'm, I'm not scared of it, but like the feeling is different. That right. uh, it's kind of weird. That time is different. Maybe it's because of all this precision flying before. Yeah. And then you come into land, you're like, okay, I just did a lot of very specific maneuvering. Of course, I can land it. Yeah, that's the one thing I do literally every time I fly an airplane. Pickens County traffic, Skyhawk 09 or 7 is departing runway 5, staying in the pattern, Pickens County. And I missed the Archer. You're either an Archer or a Cessna guy. Yeah, well, guess which one I am. Alright. Make sure this is set to best power. Heels are coming to the floor. Let's go full power. 
Looking for our engine, uh, uh, engine gauges in the green, they are. Delta three is alive. Looking for 55 to rotate. And we have 55 for rotating. And we're looking for 75 for a climb. Despite being in a brand new airplane, my next landing was actually one of my best. Looking down the end of the runway here. Alright, nose up, nose up, nose up. Get it up. Look at that. My man hit the thousand footers. Alright. Target off. Flaps up. After that landing, we taxied back, took off, and headed home. Alright, so all in all today, I thought you did well. Sweet. Uh, there's a couple things that we can just polish up on. Okay. I just don't want to hit it too hard because, like I said, the all the fundamentals are the same. Uh, the flight characteristics are just a little different, not sure. much. Um, just making sure that you actually get the fundamentals down because that's the important part. But all, all in all, I thought you did great. Cool. All right, what do we need to uh, tighten up? Um, obviously, the power arm stall. Okay. We have a tendency to let the nose come up when it should be going down 300 foot per minute descent. Okay. Um, and then we worked out that that uh, recovery process where we get the nose down full power flaps 10. Okay. Making sure that nose doesn't come back up for that secondary stall. Right. Because that's a, you probably an automatic fail. Yeah. So what do you think? <clears throat> um, I guess... Uh, I mean, how much longer do you think until, we can, until we're ready for the check ride? Oh, we're close. We yeah. could probably uh, go ahead and schedule it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. When do you think that would be? Like, what is what is his book? What does his schedule look like? Uh, probably six to eight weeks. Oh, wow. That's, That's great. That's why I go ahead and book it. So, red book it for end of February? Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. And then we'll just keep flying every every weekend until then? Yep. Sweet. Just keep you fresh. Greenville Tower, Skyhawk 130 or 7 is about 9 miles to the west inbound with information. The Yankee. November 130907, Greenville Tower, Squawk 0115. 0115 for 0907. November 130907, runway 1, winds calm, altimeter 3032, proceed to the left base entry. Left base entry for runway 1, 0907. November 097, you will be merging with uh, Cessna traffic We're just off the departure into runway 1. It's going to be headed southwest bound off one mile and get a little closer. All right, we'll be looking for that traffic. Thanks. 097. November 097, traffic's now 10 o'clock, mile and a half southwest bound, same altitude indicated. We have that traffic, 097. Thank you. November 20155, traffic to one mile east southeast bound, same altitude as you inside. All right. We have that traffic inside. 0155. 0155, Roger. I'd like it if you climb. All right, you're good. All right, see you. See you all the All right, we are clear. Boomer zero zero kilo, contact your departure. Eighteen eight, cool. Boomer zero nine seven, runway one, clear to land. Clear to land, zero nine seven. Clear. Stay there. Yep, we're clear. Then get left thirty in. Since we are kind of low here. Yeah. A little fast. I'll still clear. Alright, let's try that in. Number 9 Sierra Romeo, just turn left at Bravo there and uh, taxi southbound on Bravo, cross from 0 to 8. Bring the power out most of the way. Roger. And let's just do it idle. We're quite high. Roger. We can totally make this happen. Yep. Just guys let that nose come down. Yep, yep, yep. There's still 64 knots. Some steep approaches today. One 
thing that the Cessna will do well. Yeah, the very steep descent to an approach. Eyes out there into the runway. All right, all right. We're holding it off. Hold it up. Up, 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 up. There we go. After coming up, brakes. Right. I got it. Tower, can we get Alpha 3, on 7 Zero zero nine seven, taxi off three to ramp. Alpha three to ramp, zero nine seven, taxi. Cheers, nine zero Romeo. T taxi, Bravo one, Alpha three, cross one one nine, left at Alpha. All right, man. That was a fun flight for me. I really enjoyed that. I did too. It was fun. It was. How much fun you can have in a Cessna? Oh my gosh. It would have been more fun if it was an Archer. <laughs> That's it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you up there.